and a pineapple under the sea. SpongeBob SquarePants! Absorbent and yellow and porous is he. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review the SpongeBob episode Squid-tastic Voyage, requested by Riley Beaven. So this episode is about when SpongeBob and Patrick are having their weird little dance party. Squidward is playing his clarinet. SpongeBob and Patrick's dancing actually makes Squidward's clarinet reed actually stuck inside his throat. So SpongeBob goes to Sandy about how he could get the clarinet reed out of Squidward's throat but it involves a shrinking mission so Spongebob and Patrick go inside a submarine where they shrink and they go inside Squidward in order to get that clarinet reed out of his throat so in my opinion I honestly loved Squidtastic Voyage. This is honestly one of my favorite episodes of Spongebob. It's by far one of the best season 4 episodes I've ever seen personally. I know it's a cliched plot at this point because we've seen plenty of cartoons do these where they go inside someone and all that. We've seen cartoons do those kind of plots a lot but I actually enjoy those kind of plots and Squidtastic Voyage does an excellent job in my opinion at exploring inside Squidward. They literally go inside Squidward as they are riding this submarine and have to find their way to Squidward's throat in order for them to get that read out of his throat. It was also very interesting how not only did we get to see the perspective of Spongebob and Patrick being inside Squidward, but you had Sandy that was watching over Squidward as they are inside him. It was interesting to see Sandy talk to them. It was interesting to see her try to make sure Squidward is all calm, that nothing chaotic happens. So this episode is just filled with adventure and and chaos and overall it made for a very cool adventure even if that adventure is inside a body they really explored it very well also I do have to honestly say that this is probably one of the funniest I've actually seen Patrick and there's actually a scene where Patrick actually says smart things yes Smart things actually came out of Patrick's mouth. And then, you know, after that, he kind of forgot all the smart things that he said. But, I mean, it was funny for Patrick to act all intelligent in that one scene. And the stupid things Patrick does, which is the reason they get into more trouble than usual. I thought that was very funny. I thought it was very well done with the storyline. I thought it was very well executed. Like I said, they really explored a lot inside Squidward's body in this episode. And it definitely didn't disappoint. The writers did a really great job with the episode adding plenty of adventure but a lot of humor to it because I found myself laughing consistently hard pretty much throughout this entire episode and how the episode ended takes a turn for oh man the worst but of course you do kind of expect an ending like that though because well once again it's caused by Patrick. Huh Patrick when will you ever learn? I guess never. So I love Squidtastic Voyage. I thought it was a very awesome episode that was very well written. That was very creative. A lot of exploration with the whole going inside Squidward's body. One of the best of season 4 and I'm going to give Squidtastic Voyage a 10 out of 10. So everyone, in the comments down below, let me know what you think of the episode Squidtastic Voyage. This is 22 Tiger Dude, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!